Hi, this is Joe from Beards, Blades and & Hair, and today we're reviewing Beard Octane's Beard Oil. Um, as you get used to, I don't do a lot of scents on this channel, so we're doing the neutral scent, or the unscented. Let's give it a shake here. Always shake up your beard oils and always apply damp. Um, I'm fresh out of the shower, so I'm giving it a good opportunity here to show you um, what it can do. And um, I wanted to give a little bit of background on um, my understanding of beard oils in general, or my ranking, I should say. Of beard oils in general. Uh, my favorite beard oil as of the recording of this review is Mountaineer beard oil, which is very inexpensive, and I'll drop a link to it below in the description. Um, and I've traditionally said the reasoning for that being that the styling is excellent. It just, it the, whenever, it, at application, um, a few, you know, an hour after, a few hours after, it's great. Um, putting it under extreme heat and humidity, it holds up really well, and at the end of the day, it still looks good. So, um, I mean, the, the three things I care about for a beard oil are uh, styling, uh, how it makes the skin feel, and how it makes the beard feel, and I would definitely say all of my beard oils do that, um, but Mountaineer Beard Oil does it the best. There's a short version of the review, but for a longer, longer version, check out the description. So I say that context to say that for Beard Octane Beard Oil, I think that um, it treats my skin very well. So nothing like beard drift, no itch. Um, skin feels very comfortable once applied. Never had a single issue with that. As far as beard health, the beard looks, um, looks uh, it, it, it's a light beard oil or a, um, a medium light beard oil and um, it absorbs well, so it gives more of a matte look, but my beard is very non-porous, if you're familiar with my other videos, and so I still get a decent amount of shine. Uh, but the beard looks nice, it definitely, or I should say, uh, feels nice. It definitely feels well-treated and comfortable, and I don't get any any bad shedding, and I don't get any, um, you know, any anything looking weird as far as how my beard feels uh, nour nourishment-wise. And then the last piece of the puzzle um, that I mentioned before with Mountaineer Beard Oil is what about styling? Because uh, that seems to be the differentiator that I see between my beard oils and um, what, it, which I would say Mountaineer is a class above. Um, what am I using right now or what I have I used in the past? I use um, Scuba, aka Beard Tubes Beard Meds. I use Dr. Nick's Amazing Man Stuff. And I've used Phoenix Stars and Kuchman's Beard Oil. And then... Um, obviously previously mentioned Mountaineer, and then finally uh, uh, finalizing off with, with this beard oil, um, beard octane. And what I would say styling, all of them that I mentioned do great things for the skin and hair as far as nourishment. Um, styling's a differentiator, and um, this one is number two. Um, I think that it does a good job styling. I like the way my beard looks with it. I think it looks better. Um, beard meds is not got given the best chance considering it's it's summer and I am in South Florida and the heat and humidity is something else entirely um, and so beard meds doesn't get doesn't get a great opportunity dr. Nix does a does a decent job and then I would say this beard oil really um, does does better than that um, and I would say that it uh, it's the second best behind uh, behind Mountaineer beard oil with Phoenix stars accoutrements probably being I would say above Beard Meds, but below Dr. Nix. Um, so this is the second best styler, um, which which ain't bad, which ain't bad. Um, I'm gonna show you the complete, uh, the entire uh, life cycle, I should say, of the beard, uh, meaning that you know obviously you can see it now without any uh, without any product applied, or sorry, without any heat applied, heat or cold brush, which we'll do in a little bit, and then we'll even take you all the way to at the end of the day to show you you know, every single step of the way, and, and you can kind of judge for yourself as to what you think as far as uh, how it ends up looking. So we'll be back for a uh, heated brush and cold brush in a second. And we're back. Let's, uh, let's take the heated brush. This is the Aberlite Go 2. You can see, you can definitely find a review of it on my channel. Um, this is the heated brush, and then that Light blowing you here in the background is the Cryo Care, the Babyliss Cryo Care Cold Brush. Also a review on this channel. Um, it is currently, I turn it on as I start using my heated brush because it takes us a couple minutes to start to cool off. So you, you'll hear that 
lightly blowing in the background. Another thing I wanted to mention as we as we go through and do my beard routine here is um, the pricing on this. Um, roughly speaking, you can find beard oils on Beard Octane for anywhere from 18 to 20 dollars. Sometimes a bit cheaper depending on if they're running a special. Um, and then you use uh, typically a discount code um, from like a Dancy Bearded gets you another 15% off. I'll include all that below um, so that you can use his affiliate code. I have no affiliate with this company, uh, but if you like it, you can definitely do that um, or want to purchase anything on there that'll work for you. And so I would definitely put this in the pricing range of a you know another premium beard oil like a Dr. Nix or, or anything like that. And you know, so I'm definitely judging it, you know, I wouldn't say harshly, but I'm judging it as, as a premium product. And, and I think that, uh, I think it definitely holds its own. It holds its own as being a, a premium beard oil that, that, uh, that treats well. And hey, I ain't gonna complain my, uh, as a number two styler, that ain't bad in beard oils, that's for sure. So you can see the styling really coming in now um, as I run the heated brush through. Um, always recommended let that the uh, let the heat of the brush do the work. It's not the actual combing uh, or brushing, I should say, <laughs> that is uh, pulling it in. It's really the heat. So you want to go nice and slow and make sure you give it time to, to kind of do its thing and do its job. Um, I always my my struggle areas are always, as you can tell, this this side beard. <laughs> that's where uh, that's definitely where I have the most drama as far as being able to. To keep everything nice and tight. Um, so now that we've hit it with the heated brush, we're gonna finish off with the cold brush. And just the heated brush straightens it, and the cold brush locks it into place. So we are now officially locking in our styling and seeing how well it holds up against anything else. Um, you know, other things to say about this company. I think they have a pretty Decently strong um, social media presence. Um, their YouTube channel, uh, the, all the people involved seem to be pretty cool people and seem to be putting out good content. So I definitely want to be complimentary of them there. They're not quite as prolific as, say, a Dr. Nix, which does a consistent week. Uh, that company does a consistent weekly show. But I definitely want to be complimentary of that. I like, you know, for those of us obsessed with beard content, it's it's nice to have and definitely nice to to have more. More is better. When it comes to content, at least for me. So, I want to throw that out there as a compliment. Turn that off. And you can see the styling. Um, this is how it styles. This is, this is directly after styling, obviously. Um, ends up looking uh, very nice, very well put together. Um, there's always some variation day to day when it comes to me and styling. And I think you'll see um, in, in about an hour. Um, this will poof out a little bit more and, and kind of be the look throughout the day. And then as I spend time outside and um, especially at the end of the day, um, you can see how well it holds up and you could definitely be the judge of that. So we'll be back in a second. I'll take you. Can and we it. are back. So it's been a full day, uh, 12 plus hours of having uh, the beard oil in. Um, been working from home today, so I haven't got a ton of outside time, but I did go outside in the uh, Florida heat and humidity. So it's, it did get a test. You can see how it held up in the, for the entire day. I think it did a pretty pretty dang good job. Would definitely consider it my my second best uh, styler. Um, you know, the only thing I did before stepping in, I, I didn't do any combing uh, throughout the day. I never do. Um, the only thing I did before I hopped on camera was basically go like this and just make sure any random flyaways that were that were hanging out were were settled. I still so I see I still have one here, but that's okay. Um, but I ended up working it there. Uh, last thing I want to mention before I hop off is the are the ingredients, which are fractionated coconut oil, argan oil, sweet almond oil, jojoba oil, aloe extract of vitamin E, and it is an unscented oil, so there's no there's no fragrance in there or essential oil. I want to make sure I at least mention the, the ingredients. I, I haven't had fractionated coconut oil in a beard oil before, so this was definitely a fun experiment. All right, uh, with that being said, this has been Joe from Beards, Blazing Hair, and until next time.